Now consider the interpreting uh, the fragmentation pattern of two hexanon, not this one. Okay, uh, we already uh, learned here. This one has uh, many fragments, and then we uh, this one uh, molecular mass. Uh, this molecular mass at uh, uh, mass number one hundred, and let's um, consider how these fragmentations occurred. Okay, let's consider fragmentation patterns. Okay. Yeah. What are each peak corresponding to which fragment? Okay. There are the many uh, fragments. Okay. The uh, the main fragments are here. The biggest one is mass number forty-three, and also uh, mass number fifty-eight. This is peak is very big, and mass number seventy-one and. Uh, here 29 uh, uh, 85 okay yeah, those are main uh, you know fragmentation peaks okay let's consider first this one you know 43 uh, here the original structure is here and when uh, this one carbon and carbon bond is uh, uh, broken okay and uh, yeah, here are here are two electrons, yeah, because this is a single bond. Yeah, two electrons uh, form uh, a single bond. One electron you know, goes to this side, and the other one is goes to this side. Okay, when this electron goes to this side, and this is a red color, but not iron, but this is not detected you know, by mass spectrometer. But when this one is uh, goes to this one, and then originally. Uh, is has you no know, patched by iron, okay? This one uh, is a you know, fragmented. This part uh, has structure like this, and that uh, mass to charge ratio is 43. Okay, this is detected. So biggest one is due to this iron, and but fragmentation uh, appears like this one. Okay, this carbon carbon bond is broken. Okay, again. Uh, this one gives a uh, uh, no, this is patched iron and the whose mass number is 85 here okay? and at the same time this uh, uh, you know metal red color you know, is formed but since this is not an iron this is not detected okay? and another fragmentation is what uh, this is what heterolytic uh, ah, ah, by the way, this is homolytic cleavage because you know the uh, the bond is broken and uh, the electrons are equally distributed to each uh, fragment. Okay, but this one, when uh, two electrons here, okay, two electrons are totally you know moved to one side, one fragment, and it is called heterolytic cleavage. Okay, and this one, and it, is, it gives a red color here. But this is not a uh, iron, but this one, a metal cation is iron. It is detected okay, at mass number 15 here. And another is uh, the Meng Lefferty uh, rearrangement. Uh, you see, this Meng Lefferty is the person's name who contributed much to mass spectrometry. Okay, he he uh, first uh, he found this uh, rearrangement, All right? And then. Uh, when you uh, you know draw the structure like this, okay? and then this uh, gam uh, gamma, you know this hydrogen atom attached to gamma carbon is very close to this uh, carbonyl oxygen, okay, and this uh, hydrogen may be uh, you know transport to this oxygen, okay. This is uh, by bond by bond breaking, okay, and this is called Meng Lefferty uh, rearrangement. Okay, as a result, uh, you find these two fragments, okay, propene, and this one. Uh, we, don't, we don't know the uh, the name, but this mass number is 58. Here, you see very strong uh, peak at 58 in yeah, this one. Okay, and other than that, there are minor peaks. Okay, here there there are you know these these minor peaks, um, and mass number 29 here. Oh, this is not a minor, not not that minor, but uh, this is due to the uh, this ethyl uh, cation, 
and mass number 71, this one, huh? due to the, this, uh, this uh, uh, fragment, mass number 42 here, 40, 41, 42 here, right? This is due to this one. Hmm? And 41 here, a little bit, uh, this is a bigger one, uh, this one, and 39, yeah, I like that. Yeah? So there are all kinds of fragments, all right? And here, you know, symbol here, this is, this is arrow, but it has only one, this one, uh, this uh, wing, uh, uh, this is transfer of one electron, if we uh, you write it this way, there's a uh, two electron transfer. Okay? Homolytic cleavage is one electron remains uh, with each fragment, and heterolytic cleavage is both electrons stay with one fragment. Okay? And now let's consider the types of mass spectrometers. Okay? There are many different types of mass spectrometers. Okay? We've already saw, uh, we've already seen this uh, uh, magnetic setter mass spectrometer here okay. here uh, the uh, molecules the neutral molecules are in, uh, injected from here and then with this uh, uh, voltage difference then the ion is formed okay and then formed the ions now enter this one uh, this ion magnetic uh, magnetic sector okay here so under the magnetic field this uh, charged particles are now this trajectory becomes, uh, you know, this uh, curved, right? It it has in you know, a circular trajectory, okay? And then, uh, at it it enters uh, to the uh, detector here, okay? Depending on mass to charge ratio, the trajectory now follows, you know, it's uh, circular. But uh, some ions go to the uh, detector and some ions don't go to the detector. So by changing this magnetic field, okay, uh, you can, uh, you know, some ions now you know, goes to a detector, okay. So, uh, uh, with ions of, with ions with different mass, but uh, constant kinetic energy, because uh, applied, you apply the constant uh, potential difference, uh, let's say, 70 volt, okay, so kinetic energy is the same, okay? but it is a, uh, separated by this magnetic sector, okay, under the influence of a magnetic field. Okay. Uh, with this kind of uh, uh, spectrometer, uh, the, um, the resolving power is 1000, okay, which is um, 0.1 at mass to charge ratio of 100, okay. Uh, this resolving power is not not good, but not bad, eh? so, so Okay, another one is uh, double focusing mass spectrometer. Okay, now let's see. The uh, ions are entering from the left side to this, uh, you know, let me see, a detector. Okay. First, you know, they are using this multi detector. Uh, this one, this ion beams are uh, you know focused you know, first, and then. This is electric sector, right? This is curved one, and then you apply, you know, the, the electric potential between uh, these two, okay? And then at this uh, uh, on electric field, uh, the ions are focused again. So, yeah, the um, the ions with the proper mass to charge ratio uh, is uh, what mm -hmm. leaving this uh, sector. Oh, I'm sorry, I I I. Uh, explained in uh, uh, a little bit uh, wrong. First, you know, this one, ions are focused first by this electric sector, and then now it is uh, focused, uh, you know, ions now uh, goes to uh, magnetic sector, and then there, uh, you know, they focused again. Yeah? So resolving power uh, increases, okay, up to 10 to uh, 5. That means uh, the uh, mass number difference by 0 0.001 uh, may be, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, differentiated, okay? Well, another uh, one is quadrupole mass spectrometer, okay? Quadrupole means what? Quad is uh, four, okay? Qu quadrupole. Mm -hmm. This uh, mass spectrometer is the choice for chromatography. Yeah? You will see that 
uh, um, this uh, chromatograph graph and mass spectrometer are combined together okay online so yeah, from the uh, chromatograph and then the uh, that uh, separated species now enters the um, mass spectrometer in that case usually a quadruple mass spectrometer is used the okay? structure is not simple it's a rather complicated okay there are one two three four four poles okay? that is that is called quadrupole and then the uh, from the upper and the lower poles um, you, uh, they are put together so the potential is the same and you know the left and the right poles uh, and they are uh, put together so between them uh, you apply uh, this constant voltage with constant voltage with alternating voltage yeah? alternating voltage is what yeah? the voltage changes alternatively right and then from the gas chromatography column outlet now some mm, uh, you know species now enters here and then uh, with in the presence of uh, uh, this uh, electric field ionization occurs right and then ionized species now enter this quadrupole this mass spectrometer uh, this uh, quadrupole this side and then what since alternating voltage is applied so you know this uh, you know, separated species uh, ions uh, you know having this trajectory here okay and then only right mass to charge you know that uh, species exit uh, this quadrupole okay and then goes to this uh, you know what the detector hmm? goes to the first high, high energy diode and then that uh, species that ion hit this diode and then electrons are ejected so electrons are detected in this electron multiplier okay here let's uh, read uh, this part only ions with the one particular mass to charge ratio to reach the detector okay here non resonant ions collide with the rod okay here non resonant ions since uh, you applied you know, ac okay so only resonant ions with that alternating voltage right uh, you know exit uh, this quadrupole but other ions now hit this uh, poles okay quadrupoles okay this rod transmission quadrupoles can record two to eight spectra per second this is transmission transmission quadrupole why and here enters the you know ions enter here and then it exit so trans transmission is called transmission quadrupoles okay and uh, per second you, you can collect two to eight spectra the mass range uh, up to four thousand okay is possible they typically or can resolve peaks of separated by mass to charge ratio 0 0.3 so a uh, mass uh, uh, resolving power is not very good but maybe okay for the uh, uh, identifying uh, the species uh, you know, uh, separated by this gas chromatograph okay? species exiting the chromatography column pass through uh, a heated connector here heated connector into the electron ionization chamber uh, this is electron ionization chamber okay there you know this um, uh, neutral species becomes ionized okay? and this one this in this chamber the pressure is quite low 10 to minus 4 pascal using uh, a high-speed uh, turbo molecular oil okay? uh, the, so here uh, usually you know, the, in the inside the mass spectrometer you know, uh, the uh, vacuum should be applied you know, maintain you uh, you have to maintain very quite low uh, pressure okay? ions are accelerated through a potential of 5 to 15 volt before entering the quadrupole a filter here is uh, also uh, you know electric field uh, is applied okay and then now this ions now enters this quadrupole okay? well here's the uh, structure of electron multiplier okay 
here as I said this part okay this part is uh, exaggerated here and then now uh, in ions with the proper mass to charge ratio now exit uh, this quadra pole and then hit this diode you know, diode is applied they apply the minus 10 kilovolt okay and then electrons are ejected uh, it enters this continuous diode electron multiplier okay and this one uh, you know, shape is, uh, uh, is very interesting in a way electrons are enters and they hit first this uh, this wall and then uh, let me see this wall is in uh, you know, a minus 2 kilovolt is, uh, is applied and then uh, once the electron hit and then more electrons are uh, you know the ejected from the surface and then more and more and more and then that's what that's how electrons are multiplied and then we you measure the current okay yeah an electron striking the wall of the electron multiplier liberates several electrons which are accelerated toward the more positive potential deeper okay now it is uh, now two kilo minus two kilo uh, volts and this part is you know this at, at, at the end part is uh, zero okay so here the you know the, the voltage you know changes continuously here okay mm -hmm. but here the diode uh, potential is minus 10 kilo volt and this part this part is 2 kilo uh, volt so this is uh, you know it's more positive than diode so electrons are drawn to this uh, you know electron multiplier and inside and this part you know potential is more positive than this one ah uh, this is more negative than this one this part is more positive so ejected electrons are drawn to this one and then ejected again and then this one is more positive than this part and like that eventually uh, about uh, you know the, the multiplication factor is 10 to 5 okay so um, 100,000 times multiplied you know? so one electron enters here and then at this point the number of electrons are 10,000 uh, 100,000 okay and other uh, types of uh, mass uh, spectrometer is time of flight uh, mass spectrometer yeah this type this concept is well widely accepted okay uh, in the MALD okay? matrix assisted uh, desorption ionization uh, matrix MALD okay, laser desorption ionization mm -hmm. okay, uh, uh, you will see uh, you know, soon time of flight you know this one time of flight is one uh, now ions uh, now moving okay it flies inside the massive spectrometer and then you de uh, mm -hmm. you detect uh, the time yeah? here now ions uh, accelerated in this electric field okay now this plate this grid uh, potential is zero volt and this one is plus uh, plus volt so ions are generated here and then expelled because uh, this is uh, uh, you know positively charged you know positive and positive you know uh, there is a repulsion repulsion uh, repulse uh, they you know these ions now fly to detector and then let's say the distance between this uh, uh, grid and detector is L. And these ions now uh, up, uh, what? acquire a kinetic energy, which is ZeV. Z is number of you know, charge, and E is electron charge, and V is uh, potential difference. Okay? And this is the kinetic energy. Okay? And it equals one half of m v squared, and m is the ion mass, and and uh, since the distance between this uh, this grid and detector is l, and let's see, uh, this ion now takes a t time hmm, to reach the detector, hmm? okay, and we can uh, write this one yeah? l equals v t, no? velocity multiplied by time. Lighter ions fly faster, yeah, because they are light, reach the detector earlier. So for the light ion, takes only small time, okay, short time. But heavy, you know, ions takes longer time, okay, all right. 
So depending on time, yeah, and uh, you can you can tell the mass of ions here. Okay, but here you see uh, uh, some problems. Ions formed close to the back plate is accelerated toward a higher voltage difference, gain more kinetic energy. What is that? Look at that here. These ions are formed here, but some ion uh, now forms near this back plate, okay? Back plate. And then this ion uh, acquires, uh, it feels in a voltage potential difference of V. Okay, but what about the, uh, this ion? This ion formed, you know, not at the back plate, maybe inside, maybe in the middle of, uh, uh, you know, this back plate and the grid. And then this ion acquires, although the same ion, it acquires a smaller, uh, smaller kinetic energy because the potential difference at the middle is smaller than V. Okay. Okay. Here, ions formed close to the grid has less kinetic energy but is expelled first yeah this one uh, although it is it has uh, smaller kinetic energy but since it is close to grid it is expelled first okay so what, what is what, what's the problem uh, mass determination becomes inaccurate yeah that's the problem yeah with this uh, configuration the idea is uh, quite simple Quite simple and nice, but there is a problem in mass determination. Okay, here is a cure. Yeah. Let's see. You know, uh, up to this part is the same, but here, uh, in this part on the right right hand side, you put, you know, reflection uh, electrodes. You know, you put you know many reflection electrodes. They are, uh, you know, positively you know the uh, uh, poised okay here this one the first grid here uh, it is grounded that means the zero volt and then there are one two three four five six seven and other grids right they are positively uh, you know uh, positive potential uh, was applied here okay and this one this is less positive and the more and more 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 most positive potentials uh, are applied yeah, to this ring electrode here okay yeah and then what happened yeah, what will happen now this and then you you put your detector here yeah in, in this lower part uh, let's see now you form form an ion here you know, positive ion now it is expelled by this uh, potential and then it flies uh, toward uh, here and then now it enters this grid okay first grid is uh, zero volt okay but next one is and you know, the potential is uh, higher and higher and then eventually uh, since you know the the positive potential is applied and then since the ion is also positively charged uh, and then it expelled again yeah, repelled again in this region that is called reflection, okay? And then it uh, the trajectory you know, changes. Uh, no? it, it moves back toward this uh, detector, okay? And how uh, this configuration, you know, the correct uh, you know mass uh, uh, difference. Let's see. And uh, you. Uh, The first one, yeah, this one. Let's see. You um, ionized uh, your uh, sample, your species here, yeah, but the uh, species are all the same. But ionized, you know, the close to uh, V, okay. Now it has more kinetic energy, and then it what enters more deep into this. Uh, uh, this reflection, uh, this chamber, okay, and it is reflected, yeah, by this, uh, uh, this grid, okay, this uh, ring electrode, and then uh, it moves back here, okay. But when the uh, species are ionized close to this, uh, uh, this grid, and less kinetic energy it has, and then anyway, it, it is expelled again, okay. And then it uh, enters 
you know not deep into this uh, uh, this part but maybe shallow okay but the at this uh, de detector position what then arriving time to detector almost identical okay that's how uh, this problem here okay uh, is removed mm -hmm. all ions of uh, the same mass reach the detector grid regardless of the initial kinetic energy okay all ions anyway they are uh, you know rich uh, detector grid okay uh, resulting power is one one thousand uh, uh, to uh, twenty five thousand okay uh, reason power it, it, it there is a big you know range mass to charge accuracy is 0 0.001 um, with this one high action rate yeah this can be done immediately yeah at the blink of eyes, okay? 10 to 2 to 10 to 4 spectra per second, okay? can measure very high mass with this one, up to 10 to 6, yeah? this is a million, million Dalton, huh? can be easily measured by this technique. You understand this concept? Okay? Well, you know, the uh, uh, when the ions, on the, although the same, uh, let's say same ions acquire higher kinetic energy and, and it goes deep into this part, and then re reflected and reach the detector, but you know the uh, the ions with the low kinetic energy now is reflected you know in this uh, here and then it also goes to the detector. But time, in terms of time, arrival time, they are almost identical. Okay.